And then that's all together. Hello, uh, beer review time. A black Vike, seven percent, sent to me by John Campbell, aka the Red Dog Brewer. Um, don't really know anything more about this other than he used my Fram Garden Quake yeast. Um, I've had a look, but I can't say anything, John. So, let's get it cat, cat. Let's get it opened. Um, it's reasonably firm. I've let it out of the keezer for a while because he said it's better warmed so we've let it warm up so nice haste a little bit of gun smoke as you expect really good pour it is bottle conditioned by the look of it so I won't go any more than that for now ah look at that and so far, yep, it's pretty black, although, well, I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost a ruby red. It's quite dark, I mean, it's not black, but it's quite a ruby red, and it's pretty clear, really, clarity-wise. That's really good. I really like that. A uh, nice little caramel top there. So, a good carbonation. Have a smell. It smells fresh. Smells fresh, clean, I'm not getting any rustiness or anything. So we'll see what it tastes like. Ooh. Almost like kind of brambling cross in it possibly. Tastes almost brambly. Almost like a, almost like a jam. It's quite light, thin mouthfeel, not thin mouthfeel, good mouthfeel, but it's not heavy mouthfeel. Um, it's a little, it's not what you expect, it's not a dark heavy beer. It's quite a light beer, really. Surprisingly fruity almost, it's clean. And a light touch of fruit. I'm not really getting much on the way of the um, yeast, as in I'm not really getting any of the lemon esters I'd expect with cray, but it depends on what temp you ferment at. I know this uh, too well with this yeast that you can bang it up to 32, stress the hell out of it, it's as lemon as you, you can get, like a jiff lemon almost. Um, or you can do it nice and steady at 28 and bang out a good beer and you wouldn't even know you'd used it. So. Not really getting much off from that. But yeah, there's something like Bramble. Brambling Cross, possibly. It's a very nice bit. It's bloody lovely. It's kind of... Oh yeah, I forgot. 7%. Big bear for a big guy. But I can't tell. I can't tell whatsoever. There's no burn, nothing. There's no heavy alcohol. Uh, there's no real heavy bitterness it's really it's just nice John you were banging out some cracking beers mate I know you're a bit oohing and ahhing about this one but this is really nice and surprising because I didn't know what to expect I didn't see anything on it yeah been pretty quiet about this I think um, or I've missed it in which case my apologies but yeah I'm really enjoying this this is I don't know how to describe it to you. Um, I'd say maybe like a black IPA, but without any rust, flavours. That's quite... But it's not as punchy as an IPA. Maybe like a Session Pale. Um, can I pull it apart in total? A nice dry finish again. They might have rye in it again, possibly. Just uh, it is a dry finish. You're not getting much in the way of uh, 
sickly sweetness with it at all, uh, like a heavy crystal wood. But the hops, there is a, it is almost brambles. I don't know, I've not used Brambling Cross, so I don't know if it's that. But, uh, Yeah, or plums, something like that. I know you like your plums, John. Anyway, ooh, almost like a like a spiciness there, pepperiness. No, it's eluding me. Almost licorice, even. There's almost a tint of licorice there, licorice, um, plums, brambles, it's, I've nearly finished it, I haven't even really noticed it, as I say, 7%, this is absolute, I could quite easily nick a few of these and not realise, and then be flat on my back. So, thanks very much John, cheers for sending me it, and thanks for watching, cheers. Right. Um, I haven't got much left now. I'm just coming back to it because it's warmed even more and I've been sat pondering it. And I just wanted to say how well balanced it is. I probably didn't say that before. I'm really getting that uh, aroma from the, the hops there. And it is a, a plummy, brambly type of aroma I get from it. But it's a clean start to the the initial taste on the front is clean then the second initial taste is uh, a dark dark fruits uh, a berry type almost and then with the finish of slight bitterness very slight and a dry caramel even bloody Bloody good at making beer, isn't he, John Campbell? Uh, Red Dog Brewer. And every time you finish it, it leaves you wanting to have another drink. Anyway, I probably should have left it where I was, because I can't tell you any more about it other than it is what it is. Cheers.